Today, once again, we crossed the 4,000 meter mark. This time, we were all fit and fine. Sometimes, to get ahead fast, it is essential to step back. Hi, I am Amit Chilka. I am a tennis success coach. I catalyze peak performance for individuals and organizations. Welcome to the ninth video of my series, 18 Insanely Practical Lessons for You to Achieve Tenex Success. These lessons have been derived from my anniversary celebrations trek to the Everest Base Camp. On the eighth day of the trek today, we were to walk from Pangboche to Dingboche to cross the 4000 meter mark once again. Once again, it was a short five hour walk. The pathway mounted around the edge of a mountain. On the left hand side were tall peaks. On the right hand side were deep gorges with clear white waters flowing through. These waters were in a mood of playing some strange games with us today. At times, they, were, they seemed to be very far off. At times, we happened to walk very close by to them. Sometimes, we even crossed them. And then, suddenly they disappeared and appeared to be too far off once again. Playing these weird little games with the clear waters, we never realized when we reached Dingboche. Once again, we had crossed the 4000 meters mark, but this time it was a breeze. I was wondering what made the difference. I was wondering what is it that made us do it so easily this time. And the answer was taking a step back so that you are able to get ahead fast. Have you ever taken a step back? Comment yes if you have, comment no if you haven't. Well. When you throw a ball on the ground, it bounces back with twice the intensity, isn't it? An arrow can only be shot by pulling it backwards. So when difficulties of life are pulling you back, do not resist. Do not insist on moving forward. Instead, quit what you're doing and take a step back. Stepping back is not an act of cowardice. Brave are those who understand that moving ahead is not an option and stepping back does not make them a coward. As a matter of fact, contrary to the popular belief that winners don't quit, winners do quit is the mantra of the modern times. Stepping back thus is a very very bold step that you can take to put yourself on the path of 10 success. So here are the four benefits of stepping back that makes it possible for you to get ahead fast. Benefit number one, stepping back allows you to see the bigger picture. Do you remember as kids when we played jigsaw puzzles? What did we do? Initially, we always struggled to put the pieces together. When, then when we stopped to focus on what probably the picture could be, and when we were able to figure out what possibly it could be, we were able to put those pieces together with ease, isn't it? Stepping back, does the exact same thing in our real life. It allows you to look at it from a distance. It allows you to see the bigger picture. And when you're able to see the bigger picture, you're aware of what is not working out. And then you could change the strategies to make it work out. Benefit number two, stepping back allows you to face your fears. Do you remember in the last video, I talked to you about weighing pros and cons as one of the strategy of overcoming fears? Well, stepping back does the exact same thing. It allows you to weigh the pros and cons, the cons of giving in to your fears and the pros of taking proactive action of avoiding, avoiding it before it comes. Benefit number three, stepping back allows you to introspect. Let me tell you, all the answers to all your problems are within yourself. The problem is we always look for those answers outside. Stepping back allows you to think. Stepping back allows you to introspect. Stepping back allows you to focus inward and probably get the answers, seek the answers within you. Benefit number four, stepping back lights the way forward. When you, find, when you have introspected and found the answers to your problems, then it is easy for you to devise a strategy. You'll be more committed to this strategy because this, the answers have come from you. Stepping back allows you to light the way forward. 
So the next time when something is holding you back, something is not working out, consider quitting. All winners are quitters. They quit the things that are not working to win with the things that do. What are your thoughts on this? Do share with me in the comments below.